Hey, welcome back. So I'm really excited today to get going on the third part of our five part series on network scanners. In the first lesson, we created a ping sweeper. And in the second, we added port scanning and multi-threading functionality to it. Today, we'll start a new script, which will receive the output of our first script and will then perform service fingerprinting for each open port. We're going to send each port a HTTP GET request, where after it may respond with the service banner, which are messages sent by a server and can provide information about the service software, version, and sometimes its configuration. For us, this info is useful as it can be used to figure out whether or not the target system could be vulnerable to specific exploits. As per usual, one final thing before we get coding, right at the top of the description, you can find links to the actual script. I do recommend downloading it so you can focus on the lesson and not on transcription. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get to it. So here is the entire script. Let's quickly get a lay of the land. First, we import all the necessary modules. Then we'll define the first of our only two functions, get service banner, which not too surprisingly is what's going to send the get requests as well as to receive the response. After this is our main function, which will handle all the usual good stuff, managing data, calling the functions, printing to screen, etc. Okay, so now that we've looked at the big picture, let's jump in and analyze each line individually. First, we import all the required libraries. Sys is used to interact with the command line. R parse will handle the parsing of those same command line arguments. And socket is used to handle network communication. Note that in this script, we'll be using socket instead of scapy to send and receive packets. The reason for this is simply due to efficiency. Socket is a standard Python library, meaning you don't need to install anything else. I also just wanted you to be aware that Python has its own library that can handle some network requests. It's quite limited compared to Scapy. Nevertheless, in elementary situations such as we encounter here, it should do just fine. So here we're going to define the function getServiceBanner. You can immediately see that the entire function is structured with a try except block. And that's simply because there are a number of potential errors. And so this way we ensure a graceful exit should that occur. In this function, we'll do four things. First, we create a socket object. For those that don't know, a socket is simply a combination of a specific IP and port. Then we'll send a GET request to that socket. After this, we'll receive the response and save it as a string. And finally, we'll close the socket. Then we define our main function. At the top, we'll create an argument parser object to receive the IP address and port numbers as input from the command line. It also allows us then to parse and format the input correctly for further use in the program. And then we'll use this for loop right here to iterate through all the ports we provided, call the get service banner function, and of course inform the user whether it was successful or not. So that's it for the code, now let's get to the fun bit and test it. Sorry for that, I just need your attention for a second. Please ensure that you have permission to scan any network you intend to. I'm saying this because you could actually get in legit trouble if you don't. So either set up a VLAN or in my case, since I am a happy member of Hack the Box, I'm going to spin up one of their CTF machines, which we'll use to communicate with. And that's all I'll say in the matter. Good. All right, so let's run our script. Once again, we'll use sudo e to execute it to ensure we preserve our environmental variables. But this time, instead of giving it a subnet and a net mask, we'll provide it with a specific IP and associated port numbers that we wish to service fingerprint. And we nearly immediately get the results. Let's look at them. We can see that it was able to find a specific service and version number for FTP, as well as for SSH, but it was unable to retrieve any banner for 53. Okay, so we're progressing, right? Yeah. In addition to now being able to find a live host and open ports, we can also grab service banners to find out more useful information about our target. We're beginning to build out various important fingerprinting elements one by one, and in this way we can see that nothing we ever do is ever really difficult to implement, and at the same time when combined can start to become quite powerful. In the next video we'll take this exact script and add two more awesome features, OS fingerprinting and file output. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Promise. Until then, peace out.